Hi, my name is John and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to go over, uh, there's been reports you might have heard of the, it's a security vulnerability and it seems to be in most modern processors. Um, the two, there's actually two vulnerabilities or two security problems. One is called Meltdown and the other is called Spectre. And I'm going to try, the, supposedly early, it's, it's actually the 3rd of January, and it's about 8 o'clock central time, and supposedly Microsoft has released a patch, and I am going to, I'm running a Windows 10 computer, desktop computer. What I'm going to do so I want to check for an update, see if that update, if that patch is, is uh, being served, and see what it's like, just again, to see if it's available. So I'm going to check for updates. If you notice, my device was last checked at 10.17 this morning. And supposedly this patch was released sometime after 5 o'clock this afternoon. And again, it's January 3rd of 2018. So here we go. Check for updates. This is supposed to be a patch to fix problems with, well, with uh, Intel processors. And I believe, again, it's kind of sketchy. It seems like the Meltdown and Spectre vulnerability both apply to Intel CPUs. But just the uh, Spectre vulnerability applies to AMD and other processors, maybe ARM. Um, not, I'm not really sure yet on all that. Still kind of sorting that out. Well, that looks like it's it. It looks like this is the update right here. This cumulative update for Windows 10 versions. Uh, KB, let me grab that just for, for fun. That's a uh, wrong thing. Update. There we go. So KB four oh five six eight nine two. I think that's the patch. And it says preparing to download one hundred percent. Nothing hiding anywhere. So we're waiting to, for the download to complete. Now this is the patch, from what I'm hearing, supposed to slow down your processor. Well, it's beginning downloading. Now we're at 12% download. So again, I believe this is the patch. If you notice, I'm running the uh, Creators Fall Update version 1709 of Windows 10. And they're calling this a 2018-01 cumulative update for Windows 10 version 1709 for x64 based systems KB 
405-6892. download. It's a pretty big download. If I'm only at 20% now, I'm on a, about a 30 megabyte connection on my internet connection. We've been downloading for well over a minute so far. Again, we're still sorting this story out. It's early. Watching the download at 45%. I would imagine this is going to require a restart. Seventy percent downloaded. If this requires a restart, I'm going to have to you know, stop the recording and do the restart. Quite a bit of hard drive activity on my hard drive activity indicator light or light indicator. Uh, now we begin installing the update, the cumulative update. Again, I believe this is the patch for most modern computer processors, processors that are affected by the meltdown and specter security vulnerabilities. I'm installing it on a Windows 10 64-bit Intel Core i5 base computer, desktop computer. Thirty four percent installed. Hard drive activity light indicators flashing away. Thirty four percent installed, kind of stuck here. And then just jumped up to 68% installed. So this is taking quite, uh, quite a while. I wish I would have started a timer on this. Um, I'm guessing it's a little before, I'd, I'd say we're close to a 10 minute mark maybe so far.
says status installing 100%. I know, scintillating video, isn't it? That's why we love computers. Anything hidden anywhere? No, that all looks good. Come on. Oh, checking for updates. Hmm, maybe we won't need a restart. Oh, no, here it is. Doing a definition update. That's what it was. We needed the virus update, the antivirus update. So we could talk to the kernel. And then the cumulative update that's going to need the restart, then it went and checked back again for the virus antivirus now that it already had that update. Okay, now we're going to check once more, and then we're probably going to have to restart. Yep, this is it. I would think your device is scheduled to restart. Restart now. All right, I'm going to I'm going to restart and I'm going to try to splice the video together and show you what the result is. And uh, I doubt I'll be able to feel anything on the computer, but I'm going to restart now and I'll be back. All right. We're back after a reboot, and uh, everything seemed like the reboot took oh, maybe a five, six minute reboot. And uh, I actually restarted the computer again, shut it all the way off, and turned it back on just to see. And I don't, just from doing that, I'm not seeing a big performance drop or anything. I'm going to launch Edge. Um, launching a program. Again, I'm not seeing anything. Everything seemed to be fine. Reboot went fine. And that's it. That's the patch. That's installing the patch on Windows 10 for the What do we call those? The security vulnerabilities of the Intel processors? Well, actually, I guess all processors. With the Meltdown and Spectre security vulnerabilities. So that's, that's it. Everything uh, seemed to go OK. Just launching a browser and stuff. I'm not noticing any problems. Um, well, yeah, that won't work. Okay. Here, come in. Let's check. Let's just see. Just check for updates again. Let's make sure there's nothing. There's no secondary update. Okay. Just to be sure we're, our operating system is up to date. Again, this is on a Windows 10 machine. There we go. We're up to date. Well, that's it. Hope you found this helpful. And thanks for stopping by.